And welcome into the special edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Brad Montgomery, joined today by the head coach of the women's basketball team, Kate Costanzo. Coach, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And uh, the squad returns a whole bunch of players from the 2011-12 season. Kind of take us through uh, their response to last season and how they hope to transform that into a good season this year. Absolutely. I think the, the biggest thing is they're still hungry. You know, I feel like with last season we, we lost a couple of our last games and you know, that, that leaves them a little bit hungry to get back on the court this year and get the games going. We have three, three seniors, three juniors, and two sophomores, and then, you know, a bunch of first-year players. So the returners are hungry, um, and I think they're doing a good job of setting the tone for the, for the underclassmen in terms of what's expected and how hard you need to work to be successful in this conference. Yeah, and now Erica Restich last year was injured late in the season. Uh, the team's returning leading scorer. When can Gator fans expect her back on the court, and what should they expect uh, from her recovery? She's working hard to get back as soon as possible. Uh, we will be we'll be ready for her as soon as she gets back. My my guess would be you know second semester when we get into the thick of the conference. That's that's our hope that she's back on the court for for all that come January. Ann Ryan, Daryl Ford, and Becca Bukowski, three seniors returning on this team. As you mentioned before, they're doing a great job showing these underclassmen kind of what the expectations are. Now talk about their performance on the court. What what should we expect this year from that group of seniors? I think Daryl really exploded onto the scene last year. Uh, you know, it was kind of her, her breakout year. She's, you know, we'll be looking to her a lot of scoring around the rim, a lot of rebounding around the rim. And then Daryl also usually finds herself guarding the other team's best player, whether that be a guard or post player. Uh, you know, she's a pretty good defensive stopper. And she brings a lot of intensity and a lot of game experience. So we're going to really rely on that, you know, in the early parts of the season. Ann Ryan, uh, she's been our, our sixth man, our spark off the bench for the past couple of years, and we look to have her um, continue to do that, but also take, you know, take more of a role in terms of being in the game from the beginning and you know, getting her scoring around the rim, and she's a great rebounder as well. She's really long, so you know, in terms of when we, when we press and stuff, we want to have her up on the ball. Uh, she, those two you know, will be our presence inside, and it's nice. They're both seniors. Uh, you know, they have, they have a, a bunch of first years to take under their wings in terms of you know, how aggressive you need to be in the paint. And then Becca Bukowski, uh, she's, she's played point guard for us the past, the past couple of seasons, and she'll you know, see some minutes there again. She's, she's like a one-man press break. She's got a killer crossover that she can get by anybody to be depressed by herself. So, and those three bring a lot of, you know, they're very committed to the program. They bring a lot of leadership, and, you know, it's a great group to have as seniors. And you mentioned players that made a splash. Daryl Ford, for example, in her senior year, but also a group of sophomores, uh, Marina Scarantino, Kendall Hoffman, last year in their freshman campaigns, really made a difference on the team. What should we expect from them this year? I expect them to, to do even more on the offensive end to, to get their offensive, their scoring numbers up. Uh, Kendall is great around the rim. She also has a great three-point shot, so we look for her to have even more confidence this year in, in pulling the trigger from out there. Marina ran the offense a lot for us last year, and she's going to continue to do that. And I think, like you said, in the absence of Erica late in the season, those two really grew a lot as, as players and, and leaders, and you know they, they stepped up and rose to the challenge. So it's exciting to have those two back because then we have a lot of first-year guards that are going to kind of mix in. So we'll be really young in the guard positions. And it's hard to look at the roster without noticing just the gargantuan number of freshmen that are going to be joining this team. And from what we've seen from the scrimmages, from the exhibitions, there's definitely a lot of talent in that freshman class. Kind of give Gator fans an inside look as to what to expect from this incoming class of freshmen. Definitely. They, they're an exciting group. There's a lot of potential. You're going to see a lot of them from game one on the court. Uh, you know, with that, there will be a lot of, you know, first year mistakes, a lot of chaos, but it's going to be good chaos. They bring a lot of energy. They bring a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of hustle. I think you're going to see a different defense than you've seen in the past from us. We have some really good on-ball defenders and, who can really get up and, and pressure and make the offense uncomfortable. We have three from Oakland Catholic who played together in high school, so that's obviously a strength in terms of, you know, knowing knowing what to expect from each other when they're on the court. And then another one from Mount Lebanon, Emma Pelicano. We look for her to have a great 
freshman campaign. She actually played on the same AU team as the three from Oakland Catholic. So you have four teammates out of that group that played together in high school a lot. And then you bring in a, a great shooter out of Kiski Mackenzie Zydek. Um, Caitlin Fromnick from McDowell is a post player. You know, they're, they're getting better every day. They're learning every day. They're, you know, adjusting to the new the up-tempo, the, the shot clock, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's fun. They're fun to coach. Um, you know, it's, it's a good time to go in there every day and know that you're going to be teaching something new and there's so many new faces. And, you know, it, it's been really good. And I think, I think Gator fans will definitely, you know, see more intensity on defense from us this year, which is what, what our plans are. Yeah, well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us today and best of luck to you for the rest of the season. Thank you. Gator fans, that women's basketball season tips off on Friday, November 16th against Penn State Altoona at 6 p.m. The game will be broadcasted live on Gators TV. And as always, make sure you keep it locked in to AlleghenyGators.com for all of your up-to-date Gators info.